I have a question for you guys. How many of you people watching this video wore your favorite band's t-shirt to your school when you were a kid? Or maybe if you are a kid, you're currently doing that. Well, one student tried to do that and was expelled for doing so. The band whose shirt that he wore got wind of the whole thing and even threatened legal action against the kid's school. And soon enough, the school was fielding calls from MTV and major newspapers across the country. I want to thank one of my subscribers for suggesting this story. And as always, if you guys have suggestions for topics you'd like to see me cover, use the link in the description box below. The band Korn would have a storied career selling over 40 million records worldwide and becoming one of the pioneers of the new metal genre. An 18-year-old Michigan Korn fan named Eric Van Hoven would be expelled from Zealand High School for simply wearing the band's shirt that only had the band's name written on it. Van Hoven would tell MTV News that he had been wearing the shirt to school for over a year without incident, but the school's assistant principal Gretchen Plews would tell the Holland Sentinel, the group Korn is one of three groups that I'm familiar with that had extremely offensive lyrics. Korn is indecent, vulgar, obscene, and intends to be insulting. It's no different than a person wearing a middle finger on their shirt. MTV would quote the school's dress code, which, and I quote, bans obscene, libelous, indecent, or vulgar material, or clothing or other items that imply obscenity, violence, drugs, or sexual innuendo. The assistant principal also claimed she told Van Hoven two weeks before he was expelled that he shouldn't be wearing the shirt, but he didn't listen according to her. Van Hoven, for his part, would tell the Chicago Tribune, I think the suspension is discrimination against me, and it takes rights away from me. It was reported that as a show of solidarity, Van Hoven's fellow schoolmates organized a walkout in support of their classmate. In addition to that, more than 400 students and parents signed a petition supporting Van Hoven that would be presented to school staff. In another act of solidarity, Van Hoven and 10 of his friends wore their favorite band t-shirts, including Tool, Filter, and Nirvana, to see how the school would respond. Van Hoven would get another two-day suspension for simply wearing a Tool t-shirt, while his best friend got suspended for wearing a Korn t-shirt. Van Hoven's best friend would tell the Holland Sentinel, Hicks, preps, rappers, people from all different cliques are signing this petition because they're afraid the school will ban something else next. Korn got wind of the whole thing and wasted no time filing a cease and desist order against the school and threatened the school with a multi-million dollar lawsuit claiming that the school's assistant principal violated their civil liberties and made defamatory statements about them. The group's then drummer David Silveria put out his own statement that read, where does an assistant principal get the right to preach her own morals and actually suspend a student, he would ask. When MTV reached out to the school for comment after the threat of legal action was made by Korn, the assistant principal clarified her comments saying, the issue is not Korn shirts, the issue is not Marilyn Manson shirts, the issue is keeping the same standards of attire for everyone in our high school. Korn would claim that if they went through with the lawsuit, they would give the proceeds after their legal expenses had been covered to the American Civil Liberties Union and various charities for the prevention of child abuse, issues that the band had frequently been pretty vocal about. It would be a local radio station who would be filmed giving away hundreds of free corn t-shirts that were donated by the band. Even the county's policemen helped out as well. Corn wouldn't end up filing the lawsuit and a few months later it seemed like the band shirt ban was still at a standstill according to MTV. Van Hoven would tell the network that since he was expelled, the issue divided the community with him still feeling a little bit of its after effects, saying, a lot of people know who I am now, and some people come up to me and say, hi, thanks, and other people really hate me for bringing all this attention. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, button, and subscribe. We'll see you again in Rock and Roll True Stories. Take care.